DIY solar charging your car battery. No more worries of a dead battery when returning to your car that has been parked up for an extended period. There are commercial solutions for doing this, but the majority of kits don't have a charge controller or the solar panel is only 6 or 12 watts, which is very little in my opinion. Plus this is more fun in building. And doing it this way, you learn more and it can be adapted for charging other devices. You will need to buy a 25 watt solar panel. I got mine on offer for $32 including delivery from China. It was advertised as a 100 watt panel, but the previous buyers commented on the true wattage and stated that it was still a good price. I also bought a 5 amp step down solar charge controller for $16 including delivery from China. To avoid damaging the charge controller, I have also bought a 6 amp inline diode, which will stop the current flowing backwards from the battery to the charge controller when there is no sun present, as current always takes the path of least resistance. I bought the diode locally for the grand sum of 50 cents. The cable that came with the panel was too short, so I replaced it with some old scrap cable. You could use buck connectors, but I decided to solder the cables together and to protect the connection with thermal shrink tubing. Try to orientate your car's windshield towards the sun. For me, that is south facing. I am mounting the solar panel to the windscreen. Luckily, the solar panel comes with four suction pads. You could connect the solar panel directly to the 12 volt interior socket, but I'd advise against doing that, as not all 12 volt sockets work with the keys removed, and also there won't be an inline charger controller present. Connect the positive and negative wires correctly to either side of the charge controller. To avoid any short circuits, place the charge controller on a plastic surface where it can be contained in a ventilated acrylic box, similar to this one. The window sucker started to fail, so I had to lay the panel on the dash, but then the panel distorted due to the heat, so I ended up laying two strips of wood underneath and the distortion is virtually gone. The solar panel can produce anything between 5 to 21 volts, but we need to step down this voltage to 13.6 volts to charge the battery at the correct voltage. The sun is shining bright today so I'm setting the screw to adjust the output voltage to 14.34 volts. The diode uses a small amount of voltage to let the current pass. Here you can see the voltage has dropped from 14.34 to 13.58 volts, a difference of 0.76 volts. I should have bought a shotty diode as the voltage drop would have been around 0.3 volts but I couldn't find one. I took a quick reading of the battery voltage before the solar charging started and as you can see it reads 12.52 volts. The battery has now been charging for a week and it reads a healthy 13.44 volts. I have left some links in the description below to the website where I bought the solar panel and the charge controller if you want to buy them. If you have any comments or questions please put them below. If the video was useful please consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.